Yeah, you'll make a new post with a cast on fire and just did that. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> oh dear. But uh, either way, we're off to the final game of the round of eight. As you mentioned, the colors of swordfish are lighter than Pepsil. It's literally orange is the lighter red and aqua is the lighter blue. Yeah, pretty much. We've got Pepsi up against not Pepsi. Player defeated. Okay, I'll start in. Uh oh. Lag. That's a lot of lag. Lag. Okay, volcanic said yes. Right, back to lobby, everyone. Battle control terminated. Okay, we're off to a false start there. I can't even quit! It's that laggy! <laughs> Get fucked. Uh, drunk losses, Latin hate crisis tournament, Latin win rate is in the dumpster. Drunk, Latin win rate is only in the dumpster because literally everybody's picked Latin every now and then. So, it's a bit more of a case of the fact that the statistics don't tell the whole story. Paralyze, I was here for five minutes. Why are there triple, why is there triple Latin? Uh, there's triple Latin because Pepsinov went double Latin and Swordfish decided to bring one Latin. So, right, has everyone returned? We've got myself, you, Alstar, Jack. Okay, right. Everyone, yes. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Now they could get different colors. Now it wouldn't be as symbolic. No. Oh, almost the same. Almost, but not quite. <laughs> It's always the one person. It's just not the soap, it's not the land, and now he's not the lighter color. Well, Kainek here, obviously, gonna find himself in a very unique position. I wonder what they are defeated. Uh, uh, this is not great, but I'm gonna roll with it for now, I think. Yeah, you. it, it already starts to stutter. In the bottom left, playing as the Blue Latin Confederation, we have Alstar, his teammate playing as the same faction, except in the shade of red. We have Pinking Luck, otherwise known as Jackaderp. And in the top right, we have, as the Orange Land Confederation, the third land in this game, we have XYHH, and his compadre, the Green Pacific Front, we have a volcanic. So, ashes to ashes. I think this is what the third time we're on this map. Uh, I don't know. Probably. Did we play I ashes to ashes map. yesterday? I'm fairly certain. Yes, that was yeah. the opener as well. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, the third time we're on ashes to ashes. Um, again, one of Adam Peter's maps featuring a tech machine shop in the center, so flanked by two houses that can be garrisoned, and also makes use of the tech. Or refinery here in the bottom left and top sorry bottom right and top left corners respectively compared to what we saw yesterday where Cleopor decided to take all the four frontal oil decks both teams decided to just go for a 3-3 approach yeah it looks like they, both teams have adopted that approach except Alstar hasn't captured his third oil deck yeah I think he's forgotten about that somewhere along the line so I imagine he'll correct that quite quickly when Jacko reminds him, and on the note of Jacko, he's moved his MCV all the way to the back to get early access yeah. to gems. That's I'm... something. Tesla did yesterday as well, but not that early. He was, Tesla was playing what, Psycho? Psy no, it's Scorpitel. Oh yeah, he was playing Scorpion so. so, I think what we may be seeing here is a repeat of the first time Jacko and Alstar were playing on this map in which they may have wanted to try and take over their opponent's tents, however that is not happening today. And it looks like Alstar may be the one going for the straight tier 3 rush, 
with Jacko going to go triple factory tier one Latin spam. I don't think it's Jacko decided to just go control the machine shop. He's got both houses on the control. Mm. Again, similar to what happened the first time on this map. So I think that just lends even more credence to my prediction here that what the strategy we may see unfold is. Ah. Try a couple of conscripts being eaten up by Volcanic's dogs here. Alright, the War Factory, I just imagine. There's a second War Factory. Or second one already, oh boy. Second War, fa war Factory. So I guess he got... can afford that. He can. He, well, Jack is sitting on 5k right now, basically. So I'll start on 6k, but that's probably because he's not spending as hard. <clears throat> I would like to point out, Volcanic's going oh, for a very that. fast AFHQ. AxeYHH is just pushing across the middle of the map with a conscript lob. Okay. He's already near the attack protector of the Pepsi boys. The now stuff putting his own conscript lob to respond. So you see a large amount of GIs here near the tech machine shop. Wait, what? That's a low HP Volcanic dog. That's probably going to die without getting a single conscript. Looks like XYHH <coughs> and Volcanic are moving out on Jacko's oh, conscript blob. He retreats skirmish. towards oh, the houses. But well, then they can just go and focus on Alistair's conscripts. Although they are now fighting now near the garrison. Oh, that's, that's Phil with four conscripts. They're gonna do that tent is not to be trifled with. It looks like they're gonna start shifting their attack. I think Alstar will want to garrison the other tent with slightly more conscripts now. Alstar is on low power. He just... Oh, he just went for radar. By building tier two. That is gonna put him on the back foot ever so slightly here. We're seeing war miners coming out for Jacko here. No Jaguars as of this moment. Alstar going straight for bomb buggies. I think that deep power may have been intentional in order to get a fast bomb buggy out. Is it really that fast if the low power get absolutely cut? I don't know. That war factory is under threat and we're going to have to start to see sentry guns come out soon. This GI blob certainly does prove to be quite a threat. So we'll just eat well, there those is the bomb buggy. Breakfast. There it is. It's already Eggs. on its way out. Jacko moves to fold on, on, on the GIs. There are already a couple of black eagles out. The Black and Eagles I take off. They've spotted the bomb buggy. That bomb buggy is absolutely gone. They have gone. indeed spotted bomb buggy, and it's it's gone. I'm still going to have to be slightly more sneaky than that if he wants to get a successful bomb buggy away. And it looks like Volcanics working on robot ops, relying solely on the single refinery here, as the conscripts again continue to battle out the GIs here. The pressure is mainly towards Papsel. He can just safely pack up right now, unless. All of that pressure just decided to, to die with his jack and just flat on the GIs. And I'm saying it looks that way. The, the Black However, Eagles here are actually a very solid call from Volcanic as he's just able they to are shut a down. Legit threat. There's no AA from Pepsi at no. all. Absolutely no. Jacko, uh, sorry, Alstar working on his nuke reactor whilst XYHH has his own but is now working on a second yeah, that's, war that's... factory. I really think that low power didn't do any good. Mm. Especially not with the bomb buggy simply getting sniped like that. Now, Alstar making his own Jaguars, but that conscript block continues to get larger on the right hand side, whereas Alstar does not bother with any conscripts of his own. Got a couple of Rocketeers out here from Volcanic. And then as uh, we still. They can go to town. They will well, absolutely go. quickly well. swift into Flak Troopers. Those, those Rocketeers need to be careful. No half tracks out here from Jacko. He's committing fully for the Jaguar tanks here. So he works I mean, on he a third refinery. He doesn't need to. He can just build back to this. They see basically do the same a thing. Bomb buggy out here from XYHH. I tried to be sneaky. Would have been successful as well, but Pathfinding's about to screw it over. Oh. If that bomb buggy had actually gone down here, I don't think Alstar would have caught that. But it, Pathfinding instead takes it to the war factory over there. And it is in fact caught out by the bump by the Jaguar tanks. As Alstar is moving up, but the AA is still far behind, so Rocketeers can get free damage. Although they seem to be hurt, so they seem to have been fighting some blacks. I think they have in fact been picking off flag troopers left, right, and center. But yeah, the Black Eagles get in on the action as well. AA being the priority target here. 
as the flag troopers are being focused out one by one, we still still no half tracks in the queue for Jekyll, just wall miners. Kappas are being built. The question is, when does tier three arrive? Uh, very soon for Pacific Front here, as Volcanic is working on their tier three. Uh, XYHH moving to match Alstar and Jacko's production with the third wall factory. Uh, there's the battle lab in the queue. Alstar working on his battle lab. Jacko now working on radar. As it looks like, Jacko is about to try and reclaim the initiative here. Tier 3 down for Pacific Front. It's a bit laggy. Okay, now, now we're going to see whatever PF is trying to do. They're going to go to the out is instantly going to train Norio. This... No, he's training more Rocketeers. Oh god. The Jaguars drive A. I mean, this the... is when Jaguar can do actual damage. Mm -hmm. PF has nothing. The, the Rocketeers will the same as this... Einstein's fade between Leoper and... and the SW guys. Mm -hmm. PF just is in a state where it just help. I can't do anything. Well, the Rocketeers are doing damage against the Jaguars here, but it's more of a case of the fact that well, ja Jacko targeted Miners, he's got, he's killed at it's least it's two or three. Oh. There's just three left. There's just yeah. three left here from Volcanic. I believe he's not queuing any from more from the War Factory. He just has and a single battle And neither of tool. them really bother to go to a champ pit behind them. No, but Jekko's and money... we see an Alstar's base, a lot of shit happening as well. Oh. Tier 3 sniped. That is unfortunate for Alstar and here. two Fury drones are out, but no Morales. They're not going to do a whole lot. No, no Morales. It must have been in the queue. It looks like XYHH is about to start inflicting some of his own damage. Jekko is working on his own battle lab. Norio is out. Battle ports are being produced. Norio instantly moving out. It looks like he's going. No, doesn't choose to snipe the machine shop. Leaves it alone. I think that is just going. Rocketeers for... engaging the sensor tower, being shot up by flag troopers. Jacko's aware Norio's out in the field Why here. Why is that training Norio flag troopers? For? I may try to go for the radar. No, it he's looks like he's just scouting. I think he's just going to go for Alistair, to be honest. All as well. They have to know that Norio is out on the field. Both of them are now building flat cannons in their base. Yeah, it goes for. Oh no, it's going for Alstar's radar. Reactor. Deep reactor, sorry, yes. Uh, I don't think that's really a good target. No. Now two flat cannons are popping up, and Norio is as good as dead. Norio is alive still, but yep, <clears throat> not exactly the most healthy folk on the field here. So we see more to Jaguars out here from XYHH, putting the pressure back on Pepsilon. Pacific Front is running completely bankrupt, refusing to make additional miners here, instead going again for battle torts. Making some presses as well. Mm. Now the Pacific Front economy is certifiably in the gutter. We're seeing Morales out here for Jacko as Alstar re-establishes his tier three, again with Morales in the queue. Half tracks coming out for Jacko, whereas we're seeing a vultures on the field going to be on the field for Jackadurp. My AJ has moved out his MCV towards your patch on the bottom right. Fair move to expand, uh, fair move. Wait, no, he hasn't moved out, he built an MCV. He's built for an that. MCV, yeah. So he can just move that top MCV towards the jumpers. I'm still surprised that has not been mine out. Maybe it may be a case of the fact that uh, Swordfish aren't really aware of the gem pit's presence. I don't think it's a conscious decision, really, though. They may not think it's worth it in the long run. Meanwhile, we see more beagles. That's taking ages to fire. And because of that, one of those jets just got killed. Vultures coming out from both players here now. I'll start working on Curtain. Out Jacko oh, also wow, working on Curtain. Out with two of them. There's some Chinese chair that I don't understand. That's why it's it. Hey, I don't see Morales for Orange. He's been in B, he's in the barracks queue. He's in the barracks queue. He's had tier three for ages, and no, Morales, Morales seems to be I, no uh, it's be I think you can see the effects of that though. Is that he's been mainly focused on uh, motor quad production. Oh, well, now he's just gone out. 
He has no AA and he's gonna lose a vault if it's to Yep, both the players are on, are on the field. Jacko dealing with suppressors, he knows that there are suppressors on the field. And Norio's back out and about, and it looks like he's gonna try and fly over the flag troopers. Meanwhile, Vulture Wars on the bot bottom right. You have the flag troopers open up on Norio, well, already on red HP. Is, is targeting the MCP, but it unpacks. Yeah. Forces wisely. the unpack. DGI's move up on the left to fight off Jacko's Jaguar tanks here. As Jekko severely lacks anti-infantry, but what he does have over the PF forces here is mobility. He snipes both the PF players' oil derricks. XYHH re-establishes his MCV. And it looks like Jekko oh, no. chooses Vultures to fall back. coming in to snipe the, the Beagles. We can see a flag cannon in response there as more Vultures come in to respond. Two of the Black Eagles were picked off. It looks like they're going to get... No, they do not get a third. More... Vultures coming in. Uh, I think they're Wolfe... Oh no, we're starting to see the first catastrophes out in the field for double Latin here. As Morales does going to town, but XYHH has his own Morales on the field. Jekko not utilizing his at this moment in time. Looks like well, the Beagles are... Just... Wait, what is that seal doing in the back? That's not a seal. That has to be a spy. Uh, no, that's an arsonist. That is an arsonist from what I believe to be Jacko here, doing me proud. It looks like Volcanic's base is going oh, to start boy. becoming real lit. It's going to become a barbecue over here. Well, so the arsonist does its work. We've got the small PF force up here, doing, making his presence felt. And it looks like XYHH with Morales, a couple of vultures, more supports of Jaguars. And the force parity. I think it's a fairly even matchup here in the center. The uh, advantage going I to Pepsilon. I, I think as long as that arsonist can go unnoticed. I think that arsonist has actually been, been noticed. Quick. No, it's still alive. Oh no, it's still alive. Yeah, he's attaching bombs to the wall factory, the ore purifier, curtain activated. I am on on a couple of jags. Well, that doesn't really matter because Alstar can just pull back. His force is just as mobile as those. They're gonna get one catastrophe. No, they're not gonna get a single one. They can snipe the oil derrick instead, which is a fair call here, which is Alstar's income, but Alstar's sat on 5k and is very comfortable with the amount of minus he has. He's fine. Curtain oh, wears God. off. This arsonist continues to go to town. The base continues to catch fire, and I it's, don't it's, think it's they it's know what the origin is. War Factory goes down. <laughs> Planting more bombs on the field. War power no plant is. goes. They have to. Yep, they've noticed. Sentry gun shoots the arsonist up. Got engineer here from Volcanic in order to try and defuse the bombs. On not no, just goes to repair the AFHQ. Jacko makes his presence felt on the left hand side. And is now moving in to engage what is left of the PF bomb. Oh, There's the curve. Oh, no, you can't buy that. You're going to lose. It looks like indeed that the Pacific Front player. Oh, no. They move in to dive elsewhere. It looks like they may go straight for the curtain. Yep, no, they're focusing they're on the curtain. the curtain. Good call there oh, why from not? Jacko. Could as well just snipe the nuke reactor, to be honest, with those jags. Not Could have. They that. still can. No, they're going they... for miners again. They're just mopping yep. up the remaining. Really? That, okay, economy. these two miners are the only miners left from Volcanic and he has no factory. Jacko keeping XYHH off his off balance here as curtain activated on the Jaguars yet again. A bit unnecessary there since there's not a whole lot engaging them apart from the Soul Rocketeer. But Volcanic is about to lose his construction yard. And Jacko no, has to complete his soul. job here. Uh, now he's gonna snipe whatever economy is left. Yeah, the no only economy economy left. Why would you snipe that? Because it's, it seals the deal. It, it, it seals the deal here. This did it's already seal. This like infantry. Don't want to deal with, 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 with not just rocketeers, do you? I mean, sure, you can handle that with enough AA, but sure, this blob of X Y H A is really nice. But your teammate is is gone. His teammate is gone, he's and he's fighting there. Alstar with parity here. Alstar bringing him the care of. And then look, XYHH has no Morales here, so yeah, the game is definitely in Alstar's favor right now in terms of this engagement. Kirov goes down. Another vulture destroyed. 
Oh, and there comes a ton of death and palace from Jacko. That, yep. That, that oh, can dear. Roll in. That, well, Star Star keeps this occupied. Death catastrophes go for the tier 3. Retaliatory smoke turret, but there's too many death catastrophes. Jacko keeps poking away at PF here. Barracks is destroyed. Nuke reactor going to be everything. destroyed. You can just one click everything. It's pretty one much. Click that. One, one click further, one click that. So it's going to have to do okay. two click it. Three oh, click oh, it. Two click. Three click. But one. it's gone. And, it's, and now we can just walk to the radar. One click it. Okay, it's going to have to be two clicks. <laughs> there oh, we go. They didn't all shoot at once. The XY HH boost back. I can just walk out. out. There's another Kirov in the sky here from our star. Well, the Jaguar is on the field. Man. As the last it's... battle sword was destroyed. Another Kirov is coming. There is and another, another Kirov. One. There is another Kirov in the sky. Playing it like it's out of the football field. Refinery destroyed from XYHH. He only had, although he has 22k in the bank. Iron still current fight. being used on three units. Not the value I think Calstar was looking for. It's a bad iron current, but it doesn't even matter. Yeah, there's a second iron current and about to come off. There's cool another Kirov coming in. He's just gonna kill the war factory. Kills the war factory. Kirov is destroyed, but it achieves all objectives. As it's just radiation everywhere. <laughs> There's the curtain on one. It doesn't matter at this stage, it's a matter of time. It, it, it's over. It's, it's... It is. One person can only make infantry, the other has a standing army of Desakaras. Meanwhile, and comes another care of. we've seen Baratinos out on the field for Jakarta here in an effort to try and clean up the Desolators because, well, Desotastrophes won't do that. Morales on Blame the field Apple. again, walking into the enemy's front door. And Alstar's uh, fourth care of goes straight for the barracks of Volcanic here. Not that Volcanic was using it for anything. No Barracks has been destroyed. More desolators come in to clean up the desotastrophes. Ironically, the it's best counter to the desotastrophes because, well, they won't be targeted by the desolators. As XYHH and Volcanic are now running out of units. There's the desolator deploy from XYHH here. Not sure what the purpose of that is because that only hurts himself in the process. And there is all the catastrophes. Baratino's moving to clean all of this up. Ah, they've got absolutely no power. I do have to question the PF pick once again. Uh, the PF In a field pick. with three speedy factions. The PF pick is just help. It is basically. Oh, oh, excuse me, everyone. But uh, I think you did describe it best. It is that gif, that gif of the burning cat with this is fine. <laughs>